Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Chief Tarot. This is Yigal Tuba. I'm back with another Pick a Card reading for all of you. Welcome. If you're new or if you are a um, returning subscriber. So, um, I'm very excited today about this Pick a Card reading because I'm doing another collaboration with my great friend. I already did this collaboration with um, May, um, encoding Shanamek Peacemaker. Um, this is her. Um, channel and i'm going melinia may so i'm definitely doing another pick a card reading in this collaboration so my topic is about what is next in love who is coming towards you and why and what type of relationship uh, you will have but my friend going to do the next topic of this extended you can say that this is extended reading that my friend is going to do um is this relationship is going to last whoever this person is coming into your life ex next or crush or the someone that you're going to meet unexpectedly because we don't know what will come in the reading okay so we will see who is coming towards you and why what are they bringing into your life and how you will feel about this connection and um, anything about this person any detail uh, and I'm also going to use the charms because you guys love it so why not but extended reading related to this topic is my friend is going to do it on her channel and link is given below in description box and also in the comment box to basically know that whoever this person is coming your way is this relationship is true love uh, is this relationship is going to last or this is a, sh a long a short term a long term uh, and what is the basically future of this connection whoever this person is coming your way okay so um, definitely go and uh, click that link and you're going to watch extended reading but definitely watch the first part here and the second part there so let's start the reading you have about three groups in front of you choose intuitively whatever the pile or crystal is calling you uh, or deck is calling you this is a very beautiful um, white lemon calcite. This is lemon, yellow lemon calcite and this is pink quartz crest, um, calcite. I think this is a pink calcite, not quartz. So choose intu intuitively. I'm going to meet you on your reading. Uh, before I start the reading, let me tell you this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given on, in my description, description box. Um, I don't know why I'm just um, doing this stuff like having a difficult time to talk but okay um, and also please be careful from the scammers and fake accounts it's every day everywhere on social media accounts even in the comments box I can't stop this uh, I don't have a control over it because every day you know, these people will come from nowhere and they're going to make this so I don't know why but yes it is it is it is a fact and I can't stop them so but be careful because I'm never ever going to contact you or going to send you a message I don't have any WhatsApp number. I'm never ever going to contact you. The people who are going to put you in the comments, the message are on social media. They're scammers. Okay. They're scammers. They're fake accounts. They just want to scam your money. Be careful. I don't have any links. I don't have any um, contacts or I don't ask anyone to contact you to book a reading with me. Even I don't even going to send you a message. So these are fake and scammers. So let's start the reading. I'm going to meet you on your reading. So let's start it. Hey group number one, if you choose this beautiful white lemon calcite here, welcome on your reading. Um, for some of you, you could be um, 20 years you know, old right now watching this video. You could be 23 or 32. This is a very specific message here because I channel things or maybe you are the person who's coming your way. Maybe this is their age, 20, 23 or 32. Another thing I'm picking up here, there could be an age gap like two, three or five years between you and this person. Life path number also could be two, three or five. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. So let's go. I'm using a lot of um, oracles card here. So first, let's check it out the oracles card, and then we're go I'm going to lay um, the tarot here. So let's see. I'm using this uh, into it zodiac oracles card here. Link is given below. My affiliated link to purchase them because most recommended from my side. You definitely need to have it in your um, collection deck collection it's a very really important for pick a card so affiliated link is given below you can purchase that and you're going to have a 20 percent discount so let's go let's go let's see who's this person i want to see for first astrology cards we have the ascendant outlook oh my god we have the ten thousand. oh my god wow who is this person coming your way we have the unexpected income wow i mean from this, we have the it's time. Number eight could be important. It's time for action. Things are fast track to unfold quickly and smoothly. Interesting. Wow. I feel you're ready. 
we also have a microphone number eight another eight interesting you could be seeing a lot of eights here we have a news trending broadcast expression strong opinion this person could be a singer they could be a public speaker or this could be you if you have some because okay wait a minute it's too early to say anything we also have a kerosene we have a aries number seven 27 could be age or 37 for some of you also 38 aggressive accelerate ignite determine fuel so this person could be aries sagittarius you can see that or you could be aries and sagittarius couple but we also have a, another aries yes aries and um, this person could be aries ascendant i'm picking up or capricorn ascendant for some of you yeah for some of you this person could be a capricorn ascendant or aries ascendant or maybe you are watching this video right now because you know that i love astrology okay so okay let's 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 see more here we also have unrequited desire 25 so either you could be 25 or this person also this this could be the age we also have physical attraction 16 this is to underage energy here oh my god maybe you met this person when you're 20 uh, 16 sorry let's see more we have the bow you are highly thought of interesting some of you this person could be from korea japan or you could be uh, watching this video from there or there's definitely some type of a culture thing like from korea japan china i'm also picking up um bangkok thailand you know southeast asian countries i'm picking up we also have a um cracked up dissatisfaction with life oh my god and we also have the heart love deep affection and caring interesting let me um now shuffle the tarot here this is the tarot deck here, mini tarot deck. Let's go. So, okay. First, I have to lay the cards here. Then I will see. Let me get some more. Uh, who is coming your way? Who is coming towards your group number one? What is next in love, basically? What is next in love for group number one? What is next in love? What is next in love? There's a lot of oracles card here. Sorry. What is next in love? Thank you, spirit. We have the page of cup. Mm, definitely someone is coming we also have the seven of air that is a seven of swords energy give me one or two more please who is coming why this person is sneaky king of air oh my goodness and we also have the knight of air a lot of air sign gemini libra aquarius interesting and bottom of the deck we have the six of cups hmm this is definitely someone like I'm picking up you met this person because I'm seeing when I said 16 I was not not picking like I, I thought that you maybe meet this person in a teen age this person could be someone from your school college university like your old crush and now you're bumping it to each other for some of you this is also someone if you are going back to school if you're right now are you thinking about it if you're planning about it please go there because that's how you're going to meet this person there you know yeah maybe that's why because you're really dissatisfied in your life here. And you're like, oh my God, there's no love for me. But this person is waiting there for you. So if you're going back to school, college, university, are you learning something, you're expanding something, you're learning new course, new skill, go for it. If you have any, my, any idea in your mind right now, please don't run away from it because it's look like you're running away from something. You're like, even the universe is telling you that go for it with the page of cups, have fun. Go and enjoy your life. Have fun and, and learn something new and make yourself happy and excited again. And that's how you're going to meet this person. This is also someone that who is going to bring some excitement in your life because I feel like either this is you, your inner child is dead right now, or this person. It's look like this person is also dissatisfied here. Look at this, King of Swords. Like, I'm just boring here. There's no love life for me because it's a King of Swords. Like, this person is really bored here. Maybe this person has a very boring routine or a lifestyle. Like they have to wake up every day and go on a, in a you know, on a routine like a job, five to nine, nine, you know, nine to five p.m. or something. And this is like a very boring life that they're, they're living. Some of you, I, I'm not going to lie, this could be someone who's a single parent with the Six of Cups and King of Swords. There could be a divorce or single parent. Or you could be a single parent watching this video and you have every right to fall in love again and to know basically who will be your next lover so i really respect that but if you are not the person that oh my god i don't want a husband like a person like who's a married divorced or you know like daddy okay then this is not for you honey 
Go somewhere else, darling. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up here. So this is the definitely, for some of you, this is that person, okay? It's very clear, like you know this person. I'm also picking up another sign here. Another energy from this person is like, they could be someone that you know them from past because Six of Cups is very nostalgia memories. So you maybe crossed the path with this person. You maybe studied with this person. You learned something. You were in a maybe same school, college, university or class. And for some of you, this could be you were working together because 10th house is a career. So you used to work with this person. And now you're getting into like romantic relationship. I know it's strange. It's like weird. And you're bumping. It's like universe is bringing you guys together. Like there is definitely some type of a divine bringing you guys together here. It's a destiny here. Because we also have a heart. Love, deep affection and care here. This could be also some of you. This is your best buddy with a six of cups. Your friend. Your best friend. Your buddy. You used to be always together. You always used to be there for each other. You supported each other and now you're coming together as a partner. Tenth house is also that relationship that people are going to know it. And I strongly feel this is someone, okay, girl or guy, man or woman, whoever you're looking for. Because I'm strongly feeling with the king of swords, it's a very masculine energy. And you could be in a feminine energy. So it's a masculine and feminine. You are ready. If you're feminine or female watching this video, you're just ready to meet this person. You're just ready here. And this person is definitely also coming in your way. With this ascendant and tenth of definitely someone who is a well-known person in their community, in their uh, whatever the work they do. Because King of Swords is also like someone could be um, in a public eye, like they could be a teacher, like a very famous professor. Um, they could be also like a CEO, manager, like very top of their game with this King of Swords here. Like definitely they're professional. Whoever this person is, they're professional. And 10th house is a career. They're very well-known. Ascendant is like outlook. People know about this person. People know about this person's name. Okay, they, they may be well respected in the community. They, they command things, they order things. So this person could be is maybe in a, like a big lawyer or famous lawyer. Um, this is also someone who could be in a media because I see microphone and we also have the, you know, the cameras here. So this person could be on a social media influencer or they are very well, if they are social media influencer or somehow um, they do something on social media or they could be popular influencer, like they're definitely on the game. They're very popular, they're well-known, people know them. And they maybe have a lot of fall, fan followings or subscribers, maybe on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram, Facebook, whatever the shit is. Whatever, whatever, whatever they're doing, okay? It's not about shit, please. People get offended, okay? Um, okay, so this is someone who's very um, definitely well-known. And they could be a singer, okay? For some of you I'm picking up, they could be uh, definitely a writer, I'm picking up they could be a producer, writer, script writer, lyrics writer, like music writer, songs writer, sorry, lyrics. They could be um, in a production house. They, they definitely do something behind the camera. For some of you, they could be a popular fashion designer. Are they working with the brands here? Like strongly, this is someone who is in the media. Like there's something with the camera and the mic here. So they could be a singer because with King Knight here, it's like a lot of air here. So they speak a lot. They could be a public speaker. Our motivational speaker, this is that person. This is what their profession is. And if you are also is someone who is an influencer or you are on a social media, this is how you're going to meet this person. Because I feel like most of you, you're going to meet this person through your work because 10th house is here and Ascendant is here. So you're going to interact with each other face to face or you're going to meet this person through your work. There's a contract, there's a deal um, if you don't know who this person is. So definitely you're about to meet this person. So maybe you need to... It's a time. Universe is saying it's a time. Page of Cups, go and follow your desire, follow your passion. If you want to do something, if you want, want to perform, if you want to be on a stage, if you want to sing, if you want to dance, you want to do something, just go. You want to be a model. Anything that you want to do it, pursue it, are passionate about it, go for it. Even though if you want to go back to school, you want to be a teacher, you want to teach people, uh, you know, kids maybe, you want to learn something, you want to go back to school and learning new experience, university or you want to get a professional degree go for it this is definitely a sign of talking about do it this is your time to meet this person and that's how you're going to meet this person it's like too early it's all depend on you when you're going to pursue this another thing i'm picking up i, I was talking about look six of cups it could be someone coming from your past here it's not x here to be honest uh, no it's not an x this is someone with a seven of swords and knight of swords you maybe have some type of a dissatisfaction with because look at this we have a dissatisfaction dis dissatisfaction with life so you maybe have some type of uh, falling out with this person because this person was knight of swords when you know them in the past okay they used to run away from you they used to be 
not that much expressive, they were cold or they were detached or I would say they were immature. But now you will see the improvement in this person from knight to king of swords. Like they, they are matured up, they're leveled up. That's how also you're going to see that in this person, the change. Because we have a physical attraction. So you're going to definitely going to be very, very attractive to each other. This connection is also going to be unrequited desire. Yeah, so for some of you, um, maybe in the beginning you are not going to see this person as like, no, I'm not interested. Or this person was not interested in the beginning, in the past. But now they're coming, I feel. There's definitely some type of dissatisfaction here. But finally, the heart is beating, falling in love. The love is coming, to be honest. And we also have a though, you are well respected here. You're highly thought of. So this person is going to respect you and understand you and bless you. They're also going to be very respectful, respectful towards you and your goals, your desires. Like they're going to help you. They're going to support you. We also have an unexpected income coming. So for some of you, if you're starting some type of a new profession, new job, new work, and if you're going somewhere to attend something or to do something new and bringing you money here and your career is going on a, you know, on the top. So maybe that's how you're going to be, you're going to meeting this person here. There's definitely ignite here. So I feel like passion ignite. It could be love at first sight for some of you. Like you're going to meet this person and you're going to know, wow, he or she is the one for me. That's what I'm picking up here. So what is next in love for you? There's definitely a deep love connection is coming with the heart. This is also the connection that you both are going to well-known, like well-known couple. Uh, like people will know that you both are dating. Or I, I don't know, one of you or both of you could be uh, very well-known and popular in your work. You maybe both do different things, but somehow you are going to be a couple that people are going to see together. Our people will know that maybe on social media or maybe on platforms, social media platforms or some like people will know that. And there's also a lot of income is coming, unexpected income coming from this connection. So maybe this person is rich and wealthy. I'm not saying that you have to marry with this person like this, but this person could be very well known. They're very hardworking. For some of you, this person could be in the military, army, police, but they are definitely on a high position. They could be a lawyer, judge. CEO, they could be an entrepreneur for some of you, like they own their own business. They could have their own brand, I feel. Enterprise or something. They own their own company also for some of you I'm picking up here. And you could be going to do the audition there for some of you. Just uh, I'm picking up uh, intuitively here. And you will definitely maybe meet this person through this type of interaction. I don't think so anybody is introducing you. You are meeting this person face to face. Like interaction is one on one interaction here. You are there and this person is there, present. So that type of connection here. For some of you, this person is going to be a teacher. Like not the teacher. Could be if you're a student, you're learning something and this person is a professor there, a teacher there. Um, and you could be, a inter let's say you are an intern in there, interns there. You're working under this person, senior and junior. Or this person is like, going to teach you something you're going to learn something about music singing dancing acting anything you may be going to learn something from this person in that way so let's go let's see from the charms now oh my god anything that we are missing so this is what ne what's next in love so this person could be there's a lot of air here gemini libra aquarius could be a water sign there could be an age gap here but i'm not feeling that much but could be um Capricorn, Aries, Sagittarius is very strong here. I'm seeing angels here and angels there. Definitely this is a spiritual connection. This is your soulmate with the six of cups here and the angels also here. So this is definitely going to be a very, very loving and romantic connection. Page of cup. This person is going to be very romantic. And one of you is very romantic. The other could be that cold and detached, but doesn't matter. They will also love you. Like there's, this is like equal give and take. Love here. For some of you, you're going to meet this person through your kids. If you are a single parent watching this video, so this person could be the, like, let's say they could be teacher of your uh, kids. Are they, they are here to teach something, like music teacher or fitness coach, or they're learning something, like artist, you know. They could be an artist or they could be, you know, like, yeah, like they, they could be a teacher of this sort. Like, I don't know why I'm picking up here. Let me see um, things here. I'm also picking up, I don't know why it's coming, Italy and Paris in my mind. 
So I don't know whoever for this is, but there's definitely something Italy and Paris is coming and also like your fashion and designing coming. So this person could be already a fashion designer or they could be a teacher and you could be a student there. Are, are singing, dancing, definitely something with this, with this type of uh, prof professionals here. Profession here. So let's see the um, uh, name here. We have an EZ and we also have S. I'm hearing sizzling. So there's definitely a lot of hot uh, chemistry here between you and this person. We have a Zs, Zs. We also have a O, CEO, something like that. We also have this um, ambulance here. So maybe this person is a doctor. Yeah, could be with this uh, King of Swords here. They could be a doctor. They could be a surgeon, professional. We also have the Rose here with this. So this person is going to be very attractive to you. Like there again, physical attraction here between you and this person with this Rose here. Um, we also have um, this spider web here so it could be with a spider-man or something is coming spider web definitely there's there could be some stuck energy here or confusion look at this um, we also have this white stone so you have to be positive whoever is if you are the person who self sabotage things or you feel like you're dissatisfied you can't trust anyone you can't fall in love please give this person a chance we also have a bitch to pray here oh my god so yeah so they're saying don't be a bitch or there could be some type of um, hate energy around this connection. Either you're not interested or they will be not interested in the beginning or there will be other people could be, you know, do not like this connection. Maybe maybe this person X don't like it. You know, yeah, could be for some of you I'm hearing or could be the mother of this person, kids or father of their kids, like especially if they're single parent or maybe yours. If your ex may come in the picture here, we have the four of pentacles here. So yeah, stability. This is going to be a very stable connection. We also have an I. I'm hearing C. We also have the pizza. So something with the pizza, restaurant. I could be this person is a chef. Um, we also have live in the present. Yeah, I feel like you need to just go with the flow here. Just allow the universe to bring this person. We also have the spin card here. Yeah, you're going to fall in love. You're going to fall in love, even though you're saying, oh, I'm not. Or maybe this person is saying, no, I don't want to fall in love, but they will. We also have an eye, another eye. We also have this yeah, dollar here and music. So again, there's something with this dollar here, uh, currency. This person could be working in a bank, or you could be. There's a lot of money here. We also have the amethyst. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a healing connection for both of you. You both are going to feel like, wow, we both were looking for each other. This is definitely that type of uh, healing soulmate connection here for both of you. And this is very, um, very like uh, innocent love with the six of cups here. Like you both are looking for each other. When you meet each other, everything will be go in the flow, living in the present moment. So some of you, you're not going to worry about future or you should not worry about the future. Just live in the present moment and enjoy and have fun. And um, because you're blessed by this connection, it is going to be a spiritual and romantic and very platonic type of a connection here. You will have a great chemistry and bond with this person, by the way. So this is your reading. Gonna see you later. Um, definitely go and check another uh, extended reading of this group if you choose it. You know, group number one uh, on my friend May. That is this true love. How it is going to be like long lasting or not. And how it will. Is this true love? Is this going to last? Um, and what is the future of this connection? Gonna see you later. Bye. Hey, group number two. Welcome. If you choose this beautiful yellow calcite here. Welcome on your reading. So let's see what is next in love, who is coming towards you and why, and what type of relationship uh, you will have. Um, and what is, uh, is this tr true love? Is this uh, relationship is going to last? You need to watch out the next reading. Link is given below with my friend collaboration with May um, after that. But we, I, I will definitely going to tell you what is next in love and who is coming towards you. So let's see. So let's go. I'm also using this... Um, into it zodiac oracles card here link is given below you're going to get 20 percent discount from my affiliated link given in description box um most recommended for pick a card readings uh, everyone has a three in the pile but you got the four one extra in in this pile especially in this group so let's see uh, i'm excited to know basically what's happening in your love life so let's go i'm gonna see from uh, what is next in love for group number two so keep an open mind it's a general reading and take what resonates and leave the rest so let's go. We have the semi-sex style. We have allowing. Encourage, sees the potential, in clarifies, gives hopes to. Respond, cycles, grows, realizes, rewards. Okay. 
So there's something between you and this person's personal chart is happening that is semi-sextile, connected with each other. That is like you need to allow this connection or this person need to allow it. There's also the letter M is coming into my into my mind. I don't know. We have a Neptune. We have the dreams. Interesting. You could be seeing this person in your dreams right now. Currently, you could be seeing this person in your dreams or there's something coming in your mind that universe is allowing you, universe is telling you, giving you signs, synchronicities in your dreams, through dreams. Um, this is also like imagination here. Your dream is coming out. There's also something telling you in your subconscious mind that this relationship is about to happen. So let's go. Interesting. We have the thief. Oh my God. So either you could be 23 years old right now or 24 or 26 or this person could be. I'm also picking up 32 and 62 age. Definitely specific. I'm channeling. So just take what resonates. So let's go. Let's see. From this, we have the constellation, cancer, network, sport, associates, gather, meeting, socialize, organizations, arrangement, a collection, a large amount of quantity. So maybe you're meeting this person through definitely networking and dreams. Wow. When you are pursuing your dreams or networking something, you could be on social media or you do something and this person will be there maybe. Let's see. We have the ring. Wow. Gemini. Definitely third house energy is very strong here. It's like communicating, networking with people on social media maybe. We have a contract, agreements, bond, strong connection, unions, partner, counterpart, lovers. Wow. Rings is... This is... Uh, could be definitely 23 years old or 32. Or you could be right now in this age. Or this person could be right now 24, 26 Wow, Gemini and Cancer. Okay, we have a rings. Um, we have a soulmate, by the way. It's saying soulmate. I want to show you. This is saying soulmate. Committed partner, like-minded people. So this is definitely some... Wow, you're meeting your soul tribe. With this constellation and rings, this looks like you're meeting your soul tribe, your soulmate. Wow. Wow interesting this person and you have a same mind that's why i was channeling something like your mind your networking talking they may be in the same industry as you are with the neptune it's like you both are like you both have a visions you both are dreamy you both are romantic it's it's a pisces energy by the way with this neptune here so this person could be pisces cancer and gemini here let's see we have oh my god i, I will cry child we have a fixed, we have a stubborn inner child, do what you love, exploration, boundless energy, time to play, have fun, love to learn, imagination. We have a Taurus, Leo, this is a fixed sign by the way, it's a fixed child. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius maybe in this person chart. But I'm also picking up Cancer, Gemini and Pisces here. Look at this, this person could have babies for some of you or you maybe have a babies or you will have a baby with this person. This is someone with the rings and child like wow it's like committed partner like someone like it could be you're attracting your future spouse a life partner maybe because there's something that you are you're allying like you are manifesting this person through your dreams our universe is giving you a signs already next is a sword and scales yeah truth justice due process by the book appeal balance make amends chase fear and scare hear me out legal matters libra Wow, this person could be in a legal um, official uh, things because we have they could be working in some type of organizations, companies, um, like with large group of people maybe also. This person could be, um, oh my God, they could be a politician for some of you I'm picking up or they could be in a company that they, yeah, with this thief here, they definitely may be a lawyer. They deal with this thing like they could be in a under, also like under police or, you know, like how to, how to say it, just like, you know, investigations, things like that. Spy, this person could be into that type of field. This person is a truth seeker though. There's something with the inner child here, like you are meant to be together. Your inner child. Next, let's see, we have 18. Uh, the charm of simplicity. Oh my God, this is going to be a very beautiful connection. Like I'm picking up like with this charm of simplicity is like, even though you're naked together, you're comfortable. Wow. And look at this, the birds of the spirit here, angels bringing you guys together. There's definitely communication is coming because we have a birds. Are there something with the birds here? And flowers and mountains, clouds I'm picking up. 
interesting and tree there's something with the tree yeah this is your same this is your soul tribe this person is from your soul tribe so it's mean this is your soulmate or twin i don't want to go there no 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 i'm not it's too it's too early to say twin flame no i don't want to go there but it's it's your soulmate this is confirmation this is your soulmate i could be higher level of soulmate here because we have uh, there's definitely something with the inner child here and there's some type of, of simplicity of love like you are doing together anything, even though you're talk, not talking to each other. You're doing your own stuff. You're silent. and you, but, but you're together. This is that type of comfort that you have for each other. Wow. I mean, what a love. We have love secret. Oh, my God. 22 and 18. This person could be right now this age, 18 and 22. They could be right now, literally, they could be a... Okay, there also another thing I'm picking up could be a taboo type of a thing here. Because we have a... 12 or 13 literally 12 13 years age gap or could be for some of you 18 years like this is yeah there's a huge age gap here between you and this person we have a love secret so some of you with this love secret and thief this could be someone that who stole your heart or you stole this person heart but it's a secret and you it's not revealed yet but they are about to tell you like there's some type of truth is coming, but you already know in your dreams are you channeling. This is like an astro travel type of love is going on. For some of you, definitely you're single here. So this is someone that you're already seeing in your dreams. You're channeling. You're already picking up imaginations and visions and think like that, that this person is coming. This person is also going to remind you of your inner child or something about your childhood. You, like you have a same thing or same experiences maybe. This person definitely is going to bring you, it's like a justice is coming for you from the universe. You deserve this person. Some of you, this person could be a stole, like a, I'm picking up with a thief energy, like they, they may be, they're hiding something from you. They're hiding this biggest truth from you that they're in love with you, for some of you. If you already know who this person is, like they're hiding this biggest truth, even you don't know about it, that they love you. But you're definitely seeing this person in your dreams. And now this person is ready to allow this connection to expand, to grow. They're jumping into it. They're ready for this with the ring here, I feel. You're definitely allowing your soulmate. You're manifesting your soulmate. And you're channeling. You're, you know who this person is. Let's go. We have a forest, muddled, unclear thinking. Here you go. So this is someone who's right now could be giving you mixed signals. Or this person already give you in the past mixed signals. Or they could be right now not sure about you, but they are in love. That could be a possibility. Yeah, I'm picking up this person could be a travel traveler, adventurer, like they're always on the go. Let's go, let's see. Next, we have the pin, new job or career. So maybe you're going to meet this person through new job or new career. Yeah, you're about to meet your soul tribe. So it could be in a new job or new career that you're pursuing. That's how you're going to meet this person. Or this person could be currently pursuing new job or career. And that's how you're going to meet. We also have the ring here. Wow, a marriage will take place either romantic or business. We also have a ring, ring coming twice here. So I can't make this sit up here. So some of you, this is a contract here between you and this person, like career contract. It's a deal happening here between two people who are like from same soul tribe or you could be doing the same type of work together or this person want to do business together with you. That's how you're gonna meet. You both have the same vision. You both want to pursue the same thing. So that's how you're going to know this person. This is a ring. It could be a romantic contract here. But with the Libra here too, it's like contract here, deal here. I don't know what's happening here. I'm picking up contract and deal. So either it's romantic, like this person is, is coming to propose you. Some of you already maybe already have imagined or you signed this dream that this person is marrying you. This person with a thief energy, I'm picking up also. This is not like a thief like coming to stole your money. This is someone that who could be a player, like stole a lot of people money. No, no sorry, like a player, like people, people get to know this person. Like this person, have, there's something about this person is very dreamy. Like everyone can fall in love or idealize this person. So this person could be a star, like somehow, like someone who's a public figure. And they could be very attractive person. Like anybody can fall in love with this person. Like they're, there's some, and we have a secret, a secret love here. So this is definitely someone either going to secretly contact you or going to secretly propose you. I think that this is definitely a marriage here. Some of, some of you definitely manifesting a marriage partner. This is someone that you're going to marry. But you definitely need to see that what is the future of this connection. But I feel like this person could be in a... 
I'm hearing that marriage bureau or something that this person on it and that's how you're going to have a deal with this person. This is definitely going to happen like I'm picking up you both have the same vision, you both have the same soul, same root like there's something that you both you want to pursue the same thing. You both could be from the same world. This could be an astrologer or you could be astrologer or intuitive tarot reader or healer, light worker because I'm seeing the star here. Somehow you both are going to be inspiration for a lot of people or this is someone that you're definitely seeing in your dreams here. And I'm also seeing the star. I don't know why I'm picking up like and with this allowing energy like somehow this is your time. Like the stars are right now in your favor, by the way. To get married, to be in a relationship, to deal with this. Or you're pursuing something like a contract. It's a deal. It's a career. Like new career. For some of you, you're also at, you're definitely doing something that's going to heal your inner child. So pursue those things that makes you happy. That's how you're going to meet this person. There's something that's your dream. The Neptune is also your dream here. And it's like a dream come true. Partner type of energy here. But with the thief also like this is someone who's like a... I'm not saying player. I feel this person's stole a lot of people hard like people are like wow there's something about this person face or this person is very dreamy you're also not going to believe it like this person is your person wow look at this how this child are they both are sitting together so i feel like either you're going to pursue something together you both this is also someone who could be a therapist or healer like you're going to heal your inner child with this person i don't know there's something that you're pursuing your dream there's also confusion here because Neptune is making confusion and illusion and la la land. So this person is already making make you confused here, delusional here. We can see that. Let's see now. Who is this person? Who is coming towards you? What's next in love for group number two? Wow, we have the ring coming twice here. Interesting. We have the moon, the sun. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't need any other cards. Okay. I don't need any cards. No. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Done. Done. Un uh, universe is saying done. Spirit is saying done. Sun and moon. Okay. Soulmates. Twin flame. Okay. Um, this is definitely someone that definitely coming from your same soul tribe. You both have maybe past life together now. With a child I'm picking up here. Or this is something that you used to. Maybe this is like a childhood love. Like someone that you used to spend your. you Maybe spend your childhood with this person. But you never imagined that you're going to fall in love with this person. Or you never thought that this is your soulmate. But this is also someone. With, because I'm seeing with this child. This energy is like something about this child energy here. Like either you're pursuing your inner child. You're making yourself happy. You're going back to school. Or the, those days are being nostalgic about things. And you're going back to there. And that's how you're going to meet this person. And this is someone coming from your past. Like from your childhood. Your friend. Your buddy. You know. Or, or this person is going to be your best friend. But some of you. This person already have babies and children. I feel. They, they could be literally have two kids. And that could be a son and daughter. I'm picking up. I know it's not for everyone, but yes, it is. I'm also seeing with this Neptune and the secret love. This could be a secret love affair here. Or secret marriage, or contract, or deal. I don't know. It's something happening here. This person is going to pursue you. Maybe they want to work with you. They're going to offer you like a career thing. Or uh, this is you maybe pursuing some type of a career and, you know, are, are, are joining some type of um, enterprise our company and this person is there because there's something that you are connecting with your soul tribe your soul tribe and you know better whatever the work you're doing and pursuing your dreams your work and whatever you feel is your soul tribe is that's where wherever you are going to meet this person but i feel this is someone that working with a lot of people they're working under company they work with a lot of people they interact with a lot of people there's a networking here so there's this is also someone that you're going to meet in these two in these days and uh, the first thing is obviously social media here. That's how we interact with people. So maybe you're going to meet this person on social media. But I'm not feeling that much. Uh, could be. But others of you, this is someone that you're going to meet like through company. When you're pursuing something, dreaming about something. You're also like pursuing something. Like, I don't know. I don't want to repeat the same thing. I know. Uh, but when you're, uh, you know, when you're uh, attending a new job or you're starting some new career, you're building something um, and this person is there. We also have an unclear thinking here. So maybe in the beginning you're not going to be sure about it. Or this person maybe. 
or for some of you i strongly feel this person is already watching you and they are in love with you and you have no idea let me tell you you have no idea that this person is in love with you you have no idea if this person this type of a person is around you um let me tell you they are they could be a liar they could be uh, definitely it's like they could be on some type of opposition here so that's why they can't do this stuff i feel that this thief energy love secret and this this neptune energy they're going to do something secretly nobody will know about it the way they're going to make you offer are going to send you a message they're going to pursue you the the way they're going to offer you a deal it's just one and one meeting with you with this person it's it's between you and this person only nobody knows about it nobody wow this is um, i don't know what to say it's ring also talking when marriage and rings coming to ice here um maybe it's starting as business deal and then getting into a marriage or commitment i don't know but we have sun and moon okay let's let's talk about it because i think i should not say it we have a yin and yang energy you can see that there's a moon is a feminine energy the sun is masculine uh, and doesn't matter it uh, doesn't matter you are male or female or whoever you're interested in you definitely balance each other out moon and sun if you are feminine they are your masculine if they are ma if you are masculine they are your feminine we have the moon and sun you could also living in the places like there's a moon you know like day and night difference here yeah so this person uh, and there's also water energy here so this person may be live far from you because i'm seeing that they could be far from you and also there's a bridge here so there could be the, some famous bridge here like this person live there this is also someone who's going to meet you at a night yeah and when you i feel like you will going to travel to see this person or meet this person or when you are traveling for some of you it's look like there is some type of a trip here that you're taking with this forest here you're taking some type of a trip here and this person is there too wow you want to see that what is the bottom of the deck you want to see that because you, remember i just said that sun and moon and i don't want to you want to see it you want to see it let me show you we have the lovers sun and moon and lovers um you can you can see that how she is taming this big beast here this is like a beauty and beast type of energy speaking up to me wow you know i feel like big pisces energy here you have three major arcana here this is a big relationship for you i don't think so you can ever forget this person or you can escape from this love no we have a gemini again we have leo and then we have the cancer and pisces energy very strong here this is true love this is the one we have a neptune dream come true right dream come true it's like a dream come true you're not going to believe it there's something big also here that i don't know people is also i don't know there's something taboo here like people not going to believe it also but it's it's your lover here like this is people with the because people can't believe look with the beauty and beast energy right how can someone fall in love with the beast or fall in love with the animal right that type of and this person is not a beast i'm not talking about he's a beast he or she is a beast or they are thief this is someone who is going to be your biggest sport system like they have your back they could be a beast in front of the world beast yeah listen to me they could be a beast he or she they could be a beast in front of the world but with you they are your lover that's the energy i'm picking up here this is also someone who could have a position with this libra energy i don't know why i'm getting sweat and scales this is someone who has a power they are position they are they are very powerful person they are networking they they allow with people they talk to a lot of people they could be a public speakers they could be politicians these people could be in military army like they could be in a official affairs they could be you know on some type of i'm, I'm almost seeing that board meetings like some type of a table meetings are happening in the company or something so this person is definitely if work with the government officials or they could be in a the, that person of government officials like this person is a boss boss of the boss i don't know but there's something about this connection is like you tame them if you're a girl if you're a woman or if even though if you're a man they only care about you it's like for them it's you only this is also that type of connection that is going to be a dreamy people not going to believe it yeah there's something with the stars here and the stars i don't know it's something magical here about this connection i just don't know what is this but yes there's something magical here 
about this connection. It's very beautiful. So maybe you both are star seeds, so it could be a twin flame or soulmate connection that you both are going to be inspiration for a lot of people, network with a lot of people, talk to a lot of people. You're going to heal inner people, inner child. Or you, there's business meetings and deals here. Are you going to organize company? You're going to build something, you know, for the people like, you know, like soulmate or twin flame so they can come into union. So I saw triple four here. So angels are protecting this connection. I think you should not worry about it. You know who this person is with the dreams here. You know who this person is. This is someone who stole your heart. Or you stole this person's heart. You know it and not don't know it. They're going to reveal to you. And look at this. I want to show you now. I don't want to say it. We have the image here is the two. Image is here the two. And then we have the image here. There's a Neptune. Basically, it's also mirroring here. So two. So this could be a soulmate or mirror soulmate or twin flames. Like you are definitely meant to be together. It's a yin and yang energy here. You are different, but you complement each other. You have the same soul. You have the same vision. You have the same. It's like you, 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 when you meet this person, you are, you are already now, obviously, or you will meet them. You're going to know like, wow, they're just my, my mirror. They just seem like me. That's how you're going to know. This is the biggest sign here. Now, let's see. This is true love, guys. You're definitely manifesting your soulmate, twin flame, or your life partner, the one, if you're single here. But if you already know them, they are coming. You're coming into union with this person. It's just star aligning. It's like this is the time. Just align. Just surrender to the universe. Allow the universe to align with you together. Just don't escape from this love. Don't run away from this love. When you know that this is your soulmate or twin flame. You just feel it in your heart. And you're already seeing in your dream. Just allow now. Just allow in 3D world that universe bring you guys together. It's happening. It's happening. It's a dream come true. And when you will come to me, you will definitely will tell me that, oh, Tuba, it's really happened to us. You, you, you're not going to believe it. Yeah, some of you, you're witches here. We have the witch here. So you could be in a witchcraft or witch. Are you doing some type of a, definitely something that you're doing to attract this person or manifest this person? Are people going to believe like you, do, you have some magic or you do something? Or you did something on this person or this type of relationship? I also feel with the witch and Neptune, you know it or not, you could be a witch. Yeah, so this could be also confirmation for some of you. So pay, pay attention to your dreams and also manifest this person through your dreams or whatever you are channeling or whatever you are attracting, just make sure that you're attracting the right person or manifesting them. Yeah, we have the root chakra and a lot of red hair, a lot of passion, security, safety. There's also could be a lot of money here, passion here. We have the J. Yeah, for some of you, it is going to be a shocking, unexpected or this person is going to reveal to you and you're going to be shocked. Maybe we also have an F. So some of you could be on FB, like Facebook. We have this pink card. It's definitely a lot of love and passion and desire here. Um, we have a girlfriend. So you are going to be this person's girlfriend. Okay. We also have this, uh, this love hurts. So yeah, some of you, this person is hurting because you're in a separation. Or if you have a very painful experiences in love, this is like a true love. The wait is over, honey. We also have this tie the knot here. So definitely you're going to tie the knot. Are there something like, yeah, really very feminine and very loving energy here? For some of you, it could be LGBT community here. For some of you, because I'm getting here. We also have a girlfriend, boyfriend. So yeah, you are about to meet this person. You will be best, like I'm saying best friend. So you could be best friend, but uh, we'll be best friend. But it's like boyfriend and girlfriend at first. We have a leg. So something with a leg here. Long distance connection also I'm picking up here, LDR. Uh, we also have this baggage here. So some of you, maybe this person is carrying the baggage or you could be still. So please keep healing yourself. We also have the what? Boyfriend? Oh my God. <laughs> so some of you, as I said, boyfriend and girlfriend and you're saying what? Boyfriend? So you're going to you're gonna be shocked when this person is going to say, I'm going to be your best friend. Oh my God. This is sweet. So this person is going to directly ask you, you like or say to you like, I'm going to be your boyfriend. And you're going to say, what? Boyfriend? There's something that you're going to be shocked here. Are there? Yeah, there's a shocking here. Wow, interesting. We also have a nine of swords. Yeah, this person is overthinking a lot. They could be carrying some baggage here from the past. Or they could be overthinking a lot about this connection. We have the amethyst. Yeah, I feel like this connection is going to heal both of you. Or this connection is going to be very healing. Someone definitely need a past healing here. Still, it's a baggage here. Uh, let me see any, another thing. I'm also seeing the burn here. So something with the burn. Um, ribbon. Robin. Okay. 
again there's something with this um ben benji i'm hearing rin rina rain also and 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 glory gloria something erin You know, that's the words I'm picking up here. So this is your reading. I'll see you later. Bye. My last group, pile number three, the people who choose this pin, Calcide, welcome on your reading and Spiral Tarot deck. So we will see. So let's see. This is my 40 plus, 50 plus pile here. You could be single or still looking for love or you, you never find true love maybe. Or this person could be 40 or 50 plus. And the people who are like, oh my God, we don't want that. Okay, then this is not for you. Don't claim it. You can be, watch another pile or pick another pile. So you could be 40 plus or 50 plus. For, for some of you, 49 or 52, eight, I'm picking up. You could be also 25 or this person could be. Right now, let's see. I'm using this Intuit Oracles card here. So link is given below. You're going to have, you know, 20% discount. Definitely recommended for pick a card readings if you're a reader or if you just want to purchase it by yourself. So definitely most recommended. There's a keywords here on the cards here. So really, really love these cards. Link is given below. For affiliated link, you're going to get 20% discount. So let's go. Who is coming towards you? What is next in love for you? Group number three. We have a Venus. Love. Definitely love is coming. And we have a Quinx. Quinx. Complexity. Puzzles. Irritates. Okay. Oh, my God. So why is like that? So there's a complication here in this love. We have adjudication. Okay. I get it. So you could be 30 years old or this person. Let's see, we have the person of water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. We have a healer, counselor, advisor, or author. We also have the crack shot, Capricorn. Competent, superior, okay, oh my God, interesting. We have a precise, expert, sharp tongue, witty, dead on, intense, first class, skilled, excel, arrogant, okay. Hmm. They could be 33 or 30 or 39. We have a water carrier, Aquarius, humanitarian, but they are humanitarian though. We have an interesting, we have a Capricorn and Aquarius and they both are ruled by Saturn. So this person could be older than you. We have a Aquarius, Capricorn and water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Age could be 39 or 30. Life path number 393 three or 6. Humanitarian, generous, decay. And we have a calm life, communication, compassion. This person is humanitarian though. They're very helpful. They're ethical. But this person maybe have a first class. I'm getting like alpha male or woman type of person here. But if this person is coming into your life, obviously it's like you're also that type of person. You could be a healer. You could be a water sign. And they could be an earth sign. Or especially they could be a Aquarius or Capricorn. Or you could be a water sign. We have a counselor, advisor. We have an author. This person takes things personally and they feel very deeply things. I feel you both are healer in some way. You both are humanitarian. Let's go. Uh, we have doubt and um, indecision. Number nine, another nine. You could be definitely seeing 3399. And we have ideal romance. Interesting story going on here. And again, 49. I told you something with a 49 here. And 9-9. Nine, nine. You could be seeing a lot of 9-9. Nine, nine. You got a lot of oracles card here from this tree leaf. Other gods, just three. You got five. So let's see. What's, what's some more here? We have the wing charms, champs, peace and harmony. We have a camel. We have perceiver and you will overcome problems. And with this camel here, I, I always see, I get that. Maybe this person could be from very traditional um, culture, like where the camel are. You know, like there's something represented by this person culture, that camel. We have a love. Wow. We have a Venus love and then we have, wow, there's a lot of love here, guys. We have a, in your pile, we have a Venus coming twice. Love is coming twice here. Let's see, we have a tiger. Doing something risky, taking a chance. So this person could be a tiger. Wow. And we also have a lot of animals here, like tiger, camel. And we have the yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. And again, again, frustration. Oh, my God. This is a relationship. Either you're going to be frustrated, like, in this relationship or this person. Because you're going to irritate each other. You both are different. We And I feel this person could be self-sabotage things. Because we have an indecision and unclear thinking. So this person may be... 
I'm also picking up could be an ego issue here with this person. With this um, Capricorn is coming. Like this person is very competent. Like they are a competitor. They are a superior. They think they're superior maybe. Or they demand this to be superior. This person could be in military or army because I'm getting the I'm seeing the guns. Or is there something with the shoots and guns and law? And also camels and tiger. Like um, this person is very masculine. They are masculine because we have a Saturn and Venus. It's it's not an easy stuff here. This is a connection that is going to be long lasting. It's a promising. If we see in astrology, definitely Venus and Capricorn, um, you know, conjunction or anything that happened is like very complicated love. It but it is a promise that it is going to long lasting. If you both are going to understand each other, you both are going to feel like you both are missing piece or puzzle of each other. Like they will feel like you are the one and do you will feel they are the one. But there is some still something between you and this person that is going to irritate you. Because irritation is coming twice. Love is coming twice. There's a lot of love here. But it's looked like a love and hate connection or you both are different people. Because this person, okay, I'm also picking up with this camel and tiger. This person like a camel, like they're very slow learner or they're very slow. They demand things. They're very... They think because it's a taller energy, so they could think like they're very tall. They have to stand. They have to make their point. They feel competent. They think they take things personally. And you are the tiger here. So I, I definitely feel like ca camel and tiger spirit here. This person may be born into a tiger here of Chinese. Yeah, I feel like but there is. this is not like that. There's a misunderstandings here between you and this person. This person could be a powerful person here. Like they could be on a position of something, authority, like they have a power and they know it. But there's a lot of love here though. They are also very humanitarian. They could be in a humanitarian activities also, you know, like social activist or they could be uh, on their own business. But I feel like they could be in military army. They could be a lawyer. They could be also in some type of um, associating things like, you know, how to say it is like, Oh God, I just forget. It's not coming in my mind. Like solving things, solving problems of other people, giving the justice to people or something. They could stand for justice. They don't stand for things. This person is very accurate and skilled. I feel they have a very witty mind. Like they're very smart. This person could be older than you because I'm getting a Saturn and Venus. So there's a, yeah, this is like, this person could be older than you or you will be older than this person. There's definitely age gap here. Or you both could be the same age. We have a quinx. It's definitely talk about complexity. It's complexity and also complications. It's also about misunderstanding, miscommunication, clashes. You're not agreeing on the same thing. Um, you, this person could be very powerful, but you, you, and they demand power. And you could be a humanitarian person. You could be a healer. And you like, you maybe don't like some stuff that they do. Some of you, this person, I'm hearing, they could be a hunter. They do hunting and you're like, what? Why are you killing animals? And they're like, what? What are you talking about? So there's something. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know why I just channeled that. But, yeah, I feel like there's something like that. I guess because I think like sh shooting and they could be do something like hunting. Hunt. They maybe hunt animals. They may be into like, you know, camel race. They maybe have pets like these big pets, like very like, and you maybe don't like it. Like why they're, you know, doing this stuff. Like why the tiger and the camel is here. Like you need to free them. Like something like that. Like you will. <laughs> it's not about between you and the love is true between you and this person. The love is unconditional between you and this person. They will love you. You will love them. But it's look like you both have a different perspective because the look camel is saying perception. So you see life differently. They see life differently. They maybe grow up in a different culture than you. Some of you. They could be totally different from you. So that's why you're not. It's it is going to make irritate each other. Like you will, you will not like things that they are doing, or they will make life complicated for you because they're gonna ask you to do things that you don't want to do. It maybe, or you want to say to things like they don't. They don't want to do it. Like something like that. You're gonna irritate each other. Uh, in this way that's what I'm seeing here it's not about you don't love each other are they gonna abusive and toxic to you no there's something about your culture your differences you're going to, you're gonna not agreeing on the things interesting interesting I'm picking they, but they, they are humanitarian though 
they're balanced. I feel they're balanced. They may be logical person. They're definitely very logical. But one person is very like a healer, counselor. Like they're very watery. And the other person is like very airy. Like um, I'm not saying Aries, but they could be. But I'm picking up Aquarius and Capricorn energy. Like the demand power with the Saturn here. Definitely Saturn energy here. Like someone is very powerful, authority figure. They could become F as a cold, but they're not cold. Like they... They're more practical, they're more logical, they're more uh, into 3D world. And the one person is more about love, lovey-dovey, healing, healer, um, very caring, generous, and, um, you know, like, humanitarian, and ethical, and helpful. And they're like, what are you doing? Something like that. Or you could be in a medical field, or you could be in an animal protection field or something. We have an ideal romance. This is that romance that you never experienced before. So this person going to give you, I feel this person's love language is also giving the gifts here. Because I feel that they can't express their love in the words. Yeah, they will be older than you because I feel like they will have a difficult time to express their love. So they are going to give you the things there. Because there is a peace and harmony here in your love life. But you're not going to be agreeing on the same things here. Are you not going to be participating in the things that they do? Are there culture, there are cultural things I'm hearing. There's something disturbance in this person's culture. Like, you're not going to do it. You're like, yeah, there's a difference here. Let's, let's see that, who's coming to us, you. You're not going to understand each other. So the, the fight can be happen because I feel like there will be a fight. But there's a lot of love here. Like, you, you know that this person loves you and they know that you love them. You respect them. But you're not going to agree on the thing, I feel like. It's not, yeah, agree. You're not going to agree on things. They will feel like you don't understand them. And you will feel like you, you, they don't understand you. Something like that. Yeah, some, uh, some of you, you could be a psychic. You guys could be very emotionally connected. You guys are very sensitive with the things and things. And, you know, with, with the nature and all that stuff. Empathic. You guys could be empathic. I'm not saying they're narcissistic, but they are, they're different from you. You could be a very heart-centered. And they are a mind-centered. Yeah, hear the word. Yeah, it's like heart and head. So you are the heart. One person is a heart center. The other person is a head center. Yeah, so that's what I'm picking up here. So you're opposite from each other. Definitely water and earth. And, but we know that water and earth really needed it, each other. They really need it. They're mixed very well. So there's a lot of love here, respect here. Or could be fire and air like that. Let's see. Or maybe air and earth. Let's see who is this person. Yeah, king of swords. This person is logical. They're logical. They could demand position. They're definitely a powerful. They're very professional. Um, they could be on a PhD. They have a very. They maybe have a lot of rewards, awards. They could be scholarship. I'm picking up gold medalist or something. We have a five of wands. They could be a fighter. Definitely, this is a fighter here. They could be in a military and army. Like they have to be like this because of their profession. They could be a lawyer and judge. So they they really need to be behave in this way because they're a fighter. Yeah, so this is that person here coming towards you. Wow, 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 wow. We have the emperor bottom of the deck, the daddy, Aries. Okay, finally this Aries is here. I said wow, why I said that? Look what we have here. We have a queen of swords, king and queen of swords, perfect match for each other. You are a perfect match for each other. So it's a divine couple. You both are very smart, genius people. You both are humanitarian. You both have the same vision. This person is also going to give you, I feel like, the biggest ring. There's something with the bird here. Yeah, they're going to give you the ring here. Um, like, that's you're going to forever wear it. I feel like you're going to always wear that ring. Because there's something about this is a marriage ring. Because I'm seeing the four of wands here. It's a marriage here. So, basically, you need to see that what the what the connection of this, the, where this leading or... What is the future of this connection? But for some of you, this could be your twin flame. Literally, 11-11, twin flame. Because we have a king and queen of swords. It's never happened that they came up from the same suit. So you could be a twin flames. 11-11, four of wands. But your divine counterpart, let me tell you, this is a confirmation that you are a divine counterpart. Love, love, Venus is coming twice here. So you both are very mature. This is a, that type of relationship that we're looking for. Adult relationship. Adult relationship. Serious relationship. It's not like you're natchy, you're, you're just being a teenager, you know, not understanding each other. You both could be emperor. This person is definitely have a power, honey. I don't know who are this person, but they have a power. 
they have a position they could be an entrepreneur there are you both could be entrepreneurs so you both are the boss of your own life you both are leaders so this is a leader with the king of swords and the emperor they're a leader they maybe lead a lot of people and they have to lead it they're very strong here very strong person here i feel uh, and same you with the Queen of Swords here. Like they respect you. They know that you are their equal. This person is going to treat you equal because they know that you are their equal. But again, look at this. Be between King and Queen of Swords, we have a Five of Wands. And that's what it is, is complications, fight. So you both are going to challenge each other. You both are going to fight with each other. It could be a verbal fight. Definitely verbal fight. You're not going to agree on things. You both are going to challenge each other, complicate each other, irritate each other. Uh, maybe I feel I'm also saying that you're not going to talk like days. You know, like there's something that is like you're like, OK, I don't care. And they're going to be like, OK, I don't care. Like something like that. But in deep down, there's a lot of love here. Like you can't stay from each other, away from each other. But there's something that you're not agreeing on the same thing here. The way they, they, the way they do things, because we have the emperor, because they, they have a power. They may be wanting to control things. They maybe want to control you, like, do this, do this, and you're like, no, I can't. We have an Aries and we have a Libra, so it's a seventh house, first and seventh house. So, yeah, Aries and Libra. So you're different from each other. You process through th things differently. You may be coming from a different background. You both have a different family background and living style, culture, religion. Four of Wands, 11, 11. So you're going to, this is someone that you're going to live together in the same house. But definitely you need to see that where this relationship is going. Let's go. This is what's happening in the next in love. So there could be an air sign, definitely, sorry. Aries, I said Aries Leo Sagittarius. Yeah, there's a fire sign and air, fire and air and water and earth I'm picking up here. That's how you're going to be a combination of each other. There's a lot of love here. There will be also a lot of maturity here. Um, either this person is mature than you or you both are very mature. You're very adult here. So this is that type of relationship here. But again, you both could be very powerful people. You both could be like, for example, you both could be doctors, teachers. You both could be from the same field. You both could be psychic. You both could be entrepreneur. For some of you, you both could be lawyer. Are there some type of position here that you both have? Like you both are the boss here. And, and you, you want them to do things in, in your way. And they're like, no, but I don't think so. You can control each other. So the solution here is that let this person do whatever they want to do. And whatever you want to do, just let, let just do things in your own way. But don't question it because the love is love is not a question here. The things are like you're not agreeing on the same page here. You both do things differently. That's what I'm saying here. One person is sensitive, the other is not. But it's not like they're cold. They're not cold. They're they they are thinking with their head here. So I that's what I'm picking up here. Let's go. Let's go. There's a lot of letters here in this pile. We have a Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it's destined, it's fated that you mean to be together. We are, uh, there's a lot of sex here. I feel like the first thing is going to, you both are going to notice, notice in, in each other is like your sexy mind. You, the sex will be also very good between you and this person. I feel like, you know, like passionate sex after fight. We have this in the mask here. So, yeah. Behind the rooms, under the room. Yeah, this person could be in a BDS and things like that. I'm picking up here. The mask here, so they could be Gemini, or they're hiding. They maybe do. They maybe hide things from you, not in a bad way, but because of this, this, this um, fights between you and them. So maybe they're not going to share things with you, especially their their professional things. It's not about personal, professional things, because you're not gonna agreeing on the same thing here. We have a wheel of fortune. Wow, interesting. And the sun and the wheel. Yeah, Sagittarius, and sun and wheel, wheel of fortune. Definitely, this is abundant. This is happiness. This person could be a powerful and they're bringing a lot of happiness in, in your life. The sun is also talk about clarity and truth. So if this could be someone who is hiding something from you, they're going to reveal these feelings to you. They could be hiding, they could be spying on you for some. And they're physically very, very attractive to you. They're very passionate about you. The sun is also talk about vacation or trip. So you're going to travel a lot with this person or meet this person through traveling when you are doing. Yeah, we have a doctor. So this person could be a doctor. A healer, or you could be a doctor or a healer. Wow, we also have the snake here, serpent here. Definitely, it is going to be very, very sexual connection and protection. We have the Scorpio here and snake, this skull. Yeah, Scorpio energy here now. Scorpio and Leo. 
yeah this is going to be a very healing and very transformative love for both of you the love is also i'm hearing the love and sex is going to be very healing for both of you very very healing we also have a js or sj something like that we also have a q i'm also hearing south and north so you could be in a south and north places or from south and north places jay-z i'm hearing jay-z Jesus, something with a Jesus. So they could be very spiritual, religious. I'm also seeing Los Angeles. We have a Ellie. LA maybe also. We have a B. Billy. We also have um, N. News, something with the news here. So news is coming out. We also have a son. King. Keep Ellen JB. So they they could be a DJ or something. They could do rapping. Also, I'm picking up for some of you, or you could be. So that's your reading. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification. Gonna see you later. But definitely, if you want to see another question of the related to this pile, that where this relationship is going, heading long lasting or not or what is the future of this connection is this your true love or not so definitely watch collaboration video with may my friend link is given below heads up bye love you all